Mike Neundorfer with Advanced RV and I'm in a new uh, white feather converted chassis with a Ford 350 front end, locking differential, locking hubs and uh, we just got it in a couple days ago after well over a year, almost two years of uh, retrofit by white feather. It's got a six and a half inch lift, uh, oversized tires. It's empty without a lot of weight, so it is shaking us around a little bit. Uh, but uh, we just couldn't, I couldn't resist taking it out on our, uh, in the woods on the uh, old logging trails and seeing what it'll do. Uh, the trail we're gonna take, or part of one of the trails we're gonna take, uh, I'm pretty sure hasn't been used by a vehicle since it was bulldozed about 50 years ago. So we're not sure uh, at this time whether we're gonna build a spec van on these chassis or one of them, or uh, sell them to a DIY uh, uh, purchaser. So, uh, but before we uh, decide, we wanted to take it out and uh, see how it would run. We've been talking about how we would configure this. It's a 144, so it's a, it's a short, this is a short chassis. Uh, we have a box for it, and uh, we have a lot of ideas of how we'd like to uh, uh, build it out into a, uh, a motorhome. It would be a B-Box, uh, but we have so much work to do on, on client orders that uh, it's, um, it's a hard decision right now whether we build this into a spec van or uh, sell it to a DIYer. So we just came about a third of a mile down a logging trail. I have no idea how this thing's gonna go, but we'll walk this uh, next stretch a little bit and uh, just see what, uh, uh, see what we got. The culvert here is uh, rotted out, it's rusted out, so it's kind of filled in, but I think, uh, I think we can get through on both sides. It's kind of low there, but I think that'll work. But then uh, coming up this hill might be a little bit of a, of a challenge. Uh, it's a little bit muddy. There's kind of a spring here. We'll try to stay on the outside of the ruts and see if it'll pull itself through here. So this is the next little challenge. We get up here, then we do the big hill. Well, we figured out what it won't do. What's a test if it's not really a test? So now we're gonna to try to back back across this culvert and go back the way we came. There's actually a bigger hill up there. I thought there'd be enough stone in this so that it would, uh, would walk itself up the hill, but uh, too much grease. Uh, the, the tires are, uh, you know, they're off-road, but they're, uh, they're, they're not really mud tires, I guess. So we had some fun and uh, Another day maybe when it's a little drier.
So this is the trail that uh, was going to give us the test. Uh, you can barely walk up this, but it's pretty solid. I, I don't know if it would have got up here or not, but I guess we won't know today. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 